Hello, friends. This is Cat and Chats. I was in the mood to do gel plating today, so I've kind of gotten started with just putting the first layer of paint on. My husband is over in his chair waiting on his brother to get here, and then they will be leaving, so you may hear that. So, would you like the surprise of my very first? It, I did not use the roller. I used the paintbrush. So, let's see what it looks like. And there's my first one. This is on a very stiff, I think it's 140 pound, let's see, I can't see, but I think it's a 140 pound watercolor pad, so this is overkill, but I wanted to try it and see. It does hold the color really well, so that's cool. I'm going to be using some old uh, federal supply that I inherited. It's a notepad, probably uh, has lines on it, probably for when there were meetings and things. So I'm going to put that on there. kind of pretty. I'm thinking about, I've always kept this clean, but some of the uh, other gel platers I've watched, and one is Renee in particular, and I will have to look her, maybe if I can remember, I'll try to put it in her, uh, her in the uh, information below. But she just leaves her gel paper like grungy and I do kind of like that look this is something I got marked down to 124 and it's a uh, fabric paint so we'll see how this goes it's very thin isn't it But all you need is a little thin layer and it can lift the color below. So let's see what it does. And over here, if you can see, is where I'm going to clean my brayer. So let's take this and try this on here and see if I can lift any more of that paint off. Try to get all my paints in front of me instead of in my box that I usually leave them in and then just grab it out of the box. Kind of makes a shadow though. The longer you leave it on, the more color it pulls off. So let me try this. Ooh, I like that. This. And you can still see the lines underneath. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, since I showed you what a thin paint looks like, I think I'm going to try this. This is heavy body acrylic. Heavy body's very <laughs> heavy, hard to push, as you can see. All right, and I think I'll add some white to that. Oh, 
Oh, that's a lot of white. And one of my favorite is metallics. And this is a metallic I grabbed. Yeah, this is metallic. If you haven't tried metallics, you need to try metallics. They make the most beautiful prints. I'm going to add just a little layer of this. It looks like a bubblegum pink, doesn't it? But since we know how thin it is, it'll be nice to all seal it. Okay. I think I'll use another one of these papers from the pad. And I got my coffee over to the side here. Oh, I haven't told you. It's um, April 6th, and it is 11, about 11.30. Oh, that just washed out, didn't it? There's plenty of times you want something that's washed out, but I think once this dries, I'm going to go over it with something more contrasting. I do kind of like that area right there. So what would be contrasting? How about a blue? down all right let's roll this a little bit more and I think I'm going to use some leftovers from church papers Oh yeah, I love seeing the words underneath. There we go. Right. I think I've said in some of my past videos that the black is one of my favorite black and white. I think the only way to get the grunge on it is not to clean it up afterwards. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I can follow through with that. <laughs> not cleaning it. I don't want to panic when gets chunks on it that I can't clean off. So I probably need to turn upside down. Hmm. I'm determined. And I don't think I can get that in there. Yeah, thinner. Nope. Yeah, I need it 
thinner paintbrush. I'll turn it upside down though and see if anything falls to the bottom. In the meantime, we'll roll this and see what this does. Sometimes it'll look like a almost a ghost print, which I think I've done too much, so let me add a little bit more. All right, let's see what that looks like. <laughs> Waving at my hubby. He's trying to find us some soda pop, fizzy pop. It has stevia in it. Oh, see how ghosty that looks? Mmm, I love it. Let's see. Oh, my favorite. my thin stuff here. I'll probably use all this up pretty quick because I really like that. Okay, I could just leave it like this, but yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. I was going to say but. to kind of smear the paint with or make little marks in the paint. Maybe Don's brother, maybe sister-in-law are here. So I may have to put it on hold. I like that. Okay. Looks like my sister-in-law is here. What should we put with about some metallic green? And then maybe some metallic blue. Oh, company's coming in. show them what this look like. This is mainly metallics. Isn't that pretty? Alright, well I'll see you guys in a little bit. 
Okay, I'm back for a few minutes just so I can show you a few more things. My sister-in-law is here. You can say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm not showing you or anything, but I thought I'd show you some decorative paper. See how the oh, yeah, decorative like that. paper shows through. I like the stamp you used on there. You yeah. made that, didn't you? Yeah. Um, this is just your fun foam you can get at, um, and it was already, you can get a package of it at Dollar Tree. I just glued it on there. Did you cut the shape, or did it come like that? No, it came came with a pack of different shapes. I like that one. But anyways, this one just has this little corner, which I don't know what it says. So I'm showing both of you. <laughs> what? my husband and my brother-in-law are doing is getting my mother-in-law situated in the ground at the cemetery so i'm gonna try to get some more on this and then i'm gonna have to shut it off so i can visit but i wanted to show you guys that you can use decorative paper for some of you that I know, keep asking me about it because you've never done this. And I will have to show you what I do with a lot of it. Cut it up and put it in my journals. Well, there it is. All right. See you guys later. Hello again. My sister-in-law has just left for a short period of time and my husband and brother-in-law aren't back yet. But I have done, you cannot see them all here. I'd have to gather them up. I've done dozens and dozens, and it's now two hours later. But I thought I'd show you what I've been working on. And I had this cool, most of the papers I did by themselves, but I've done a lot of papers in here. And I'm hoping... Not, I guess they're dry. Tearing them out too quick. Um, Renee, uh, something of Renee. She has this really cool record book that she's been doing this with. So I thought I would do it in a composition book. Since I have lots of those. I hope you're seeing them. I have to stand up to see what you're seeing. Okay. It's a little close to the camera, but I've been doing these. And here I'm getting ready to do this one. I'm hoping it'll look something like ocean waves. No, it didn't. It is interesting, but I'm going to do the other side, too. Yeah, it looks fine, though. I'm going to put another paper in there. I'm, now that I've been doing this for two and a half hours, mainly off camera, of course, starting to get just a little tired, though. Okay. That's a metallic purple. One of my favorite things, which I think I've already showed you, is just some of this really old notebook paper. Oh, that's pretty. 
pretty. Can you see it? Yeah. It's very metallic-y. And... That's a metallic. This is a metallic. I think metallics are my favorite. And I'll show you one of my favorite techniques. I just got this at the Dollar Tree. Alright. And I think I'll just use... scrap paper and this one this comes from our church brush you know weekly sort of what do you call it it's where they pass it out to you when you go into church that way you can follow the service I like that stand up and see if you're seeing it yeah let's see I'm metallic and I'm gonna move the camera so you can see there's just loads and loads of paper there you can't even see how much there <laughs> it's just piled thick I'll eventually go through them Okay. I thought I have been recording this and I had said this is going to be my last one. And then I just realized it's not recording. So I don't know. Now I feel like I got to do a few more. I don't even know if I showed you, if it caught everything I showed. My book and. Well, if not, I'll go ahead and go over it one more time. I'd gotten this from the Dollar Tree, and Renee, somebody, I'll try to put her down below, she has a record book that she's been doing this in, and all I have is... Um, composition notebook so I did that there's a lot in here you just thought that one was pretty I tend to go for the bolder colors but if I can make myself do some of the simple colors Pastel colors, that's what I want to say. See, I think of them as simple because they're not like in your face. And then I have Hell. I thought there was one there, but I guess not. Favorite colors. Well, I'm going to finish this.
this off with this. Get some red on it. And then if I didn't say it before, I've been doing this for I guess going on three hours, so I am tired. Oh, didn't even show it to you. See how tired I am? All right, well, that's it. So I'll try to get this up. I hope you guys are having a good art day. Later.